بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اليوم نبدي محاضرتنا الجزء الأول اللي هو سكشول ترانس ميتد ديزيز سميناها سكشول ترانس ميتد ديزيز لأنه تنتقل فقط عن طريق السكشول كونتاكت أول واحد اللي هو شانكرويد شانكرويد is bacterial sexual transmitted disease the most important bacterial اللي هي هيموفلس دوكري characterized by painful necrotic genital ulcer that may be accompanied by inguinal lymph adenopathy it is a highly contagious but curable disease it then characterized very vain, very painful genital ulcer and then very vigine mean severe painful ulcer عادة الأرسل يكون soft إذا كان يسمينا soft chunker حتى نميزة بعدين عن السفلس اللي هو hard chunker chancroid قلنا transmitted only through sexual contact after the entrance of hemophilus decrae through micro operations in the skin during the sexual intercourse usually retimatus papule will be developed after 4 to, 7, 4 to 7 days then posture then undergo central necrosis and ulcerations this is ulcerative very painful soft that bleed easily on tra traumatized with lymph node enlargement and then the most important characteristic features painful the border is sharply defined with undermined irregular border gray base yellowish and it bleed very easily if it traumatize it with painful lymph endonopathy and patient will complain to from the pain with micturation, with micturation this parune this this urea or this parune the pain during the intercourse this is the ulcer irregular undermine very painful and it bleed very easily while the symptoms in women usually may be complained from painful urination or defecations painful intercourse rectal bleeding vaginal discharge this is very painful recurrence with vaginal discharge other than in me is an heart chunker because high chunker in the secondary surface usually painless and not itchy and hard swelling of inguinal lymph node may be progressed to the point of the formation of the abscess and discharge with the draining abscess in some buboes formations other lymph node very painful sometimes open sinuses with abscess formation buboes formations and then we have many differences between Cephalitic chunker and chancroid. Chunkers are usually painless, while chancroid painful. Chunkers non exudative, while chancroid usually there is a gray or yellowish perunent exudate. Chunkers are hard in a durated age, while chancroid soft. Chunkers usually heal spontaneously with, within a 3 to 6 weeks, if not even if not treated laboratory investigations usually by culture or PCR the most important drug of choice is you have one gram azithromycin single oral dose or single intramuscular dose of cefetriaxone or oral erythromycin for seven days gonorrhea the most important bacterium is the Neisseria gonorrhea semi maravicella the infection is transmitted from one person to another person from the genital contact, vaginal, oral or anal sex. Men usually have a 20% of get infection from the single act with infected female while the women have 60 to 80% risk of getting the infection from the single act of vaginal intercourse with infected man. The mother may affect the child during delivery and ophthalmia in utatorium will develop in the fetus or a newborn after the delivery it cannot be separated by toilet or bathroom it just by sexual contact 
is sign and symptoms half of women with gonorrhea are asymptomatic most men usually complaining from urethritis associated with burning of urination and pus discharge such infection is asymptomatic in 90 percent of cases and just a produce sore throat in 10 percent then occupation period usually from four to six days so the most important sign and symptoms in men white yellow green your urethral discharge a seemable pus pain in testicle or scrotum painful or frequent urination anal discharge itching pain bleeding or pain when passing stool this is the most important manifestation in men while in, in women there is painful sexual intercourse fever yellow or green vaginal discharge vulval sweating bleeding in between period heavier period bleeding after intercourse vomiting and abdominal or pelvic pain and painful or frequent urinations diagnosis usually by gram stain and cultures management or management usually injectable cefetriaxone is a drug of choice sometimes present resistance this is typically given in combination with either azithromycin or doxycycline so we must give combined it treatment injectable cefetriaxone with erythromycin or with doxycycline penicillin tetracycline fluoroquinolones are usually no longer recommended because of higher rate of resistance it is recommended that sexual partners should be treated together non-gono cocal urethritis هذا المصطلح عادة يطلق على urethritis inflammation of the urethra that is not caused by gonorrhea infection there are many cases of non-gono cocal urethritis the most important bacteria is chlamydia trichomatis in addition to uroplasma fluoriditicums or sometimes viral like herpes simplex or adenovirus or parasitic infection trichomatis trichomonas vaginalis and then non-gonococcal urethritis caused by combination but mixed infection sometimes not by single pathogens the symptoms of urethritis usually patient complaining from pain burning sensation during the urination in semi dysuria with white cloudy discharge diagnosis by gram stain or with a discharge under the microscope treatment because it is multicausative agent like a dancer treatment added and combined the treatment and the treatment involved both partner the most important drug of choice is the tinidazole used with doxycycline or tinidazole with azithromycin if the patient left untreated the complication will include epididymitis and infertility thank you very much